Hey, how's it going? This is Eric with Solve Cycle Solutions. I help save people time from doing what they hate by creating and implementing automated solutions to help people focus on what they love instead. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down something that's been a pain point for me in how I can automate some of my social media posting as well as content around my YouTube videos that I use ChatGPT to help me do. So if you struggle with trying to get information set up and want to have ChatGPT run things from the push of a button, then you've come to the right place. Let's get to it. Welcome back. And I am excited to dive into ChatGPT and how we can start implementing this to start saving us even more time, but without having to manually enter all this information as well. So before I get into that, I do want to take a minute to invite you to some free consultations. I understand that it's really cool to see how this information can be built and automated, but you may not have the time necessary to start working on this or have the time to learn how to do this. So if you want help getting these processes set up inside of your business, I'm offering free 30-minute consultations. You can click the link in the description of this video, or if you're on a computer, scan the QR code around me, and you can book a call and see how much time you can save in just 30 minutes. So again, head to solvecyclesolutions.com forward slash 30 dash minutes, and you can get your free consultation set up. But now that we have that housekeeping out of the way, I want to just talk a little bit at the beginning about what caused me to start building this automated solution and start talking about how you can find pain points inside of your business to isolate what is keeping you from getting work done. So let's hop into my screen and you'll see right off the bat, actually let me zoom in a little bit here. Uh, I have created a list of all the steps I take from when a video is rendered and ready to load and what I have to do to get that from my computer to putting it on YouTube and even posting it to social media. You'll see that I have about 18 different steps that I have to do every time a video is being loaded into uh, YouTube and onto social media. This takes up a lot of time, and for me, I've got it down to about where this whole process can be done in about 60 to 90 minutes, which to some people that's great, but I really wish I didn't have to do as much, and I know that there are certain things that I just dislike doing, and this isn't something that I necessarily can just pass off to someone else unless I were hiring like a social media company or a specialist, which is a little bit out of my price range right now. And I don't want to extend that at the moment until I'm ready to fully pay someone to pass that off. So what can we do to automate this process? Well, first things first, it helps writing down every step because you can see specifically the tasks that you work on and gives you some ideas of what you can automate. I focus on the tasks that I dislike the most and what, in a sense, gives me the most resistance to actually completing this social media task. So for me, what I actually struggle with the most is trying to create descriptions and creating a series of information and as well as trying to get the audio transcripts for my YouTube video. I don't like paying a lot of money for these different services that I think are becoming overpriced. Uh, specifically, I'm going to drag uh, Otter AI a little bit because they've been changing their pricing structure. I understand they have to do what they have to do, but at the same time, they're making it harder for me to justify paying for them as they increase their prices. So I've actually set up a system to work with ChatGPT and another thing that I really dislike doing is writing social media posts. So that's what I realized was the main issue for me in terms of what I can automate. And that was getting all the information from a transcript of the video that I use to create a friendly, SEO-friendly video title, description, as well as 
ways to automate posting my social media information to LinkedIn and Facebook. So how I set this up, and I am going to be skimming over a little bit here, but basically I have inside of SmartSuite a video pipeline. You can see that I'm able to track in a Kanban view where there are video ideas that I'm just figuring out, I'm writing a script for, there are ones that I want to try and work a little bit more on, which I call breaking, and I write a bit of a script. I try and test different automations. I try and build things out to make sure that this is something, A, that's doable, and something that can be easily presentable to you on this video. Once I'm done breaking, I will have a ready-to-record process, and as well as you can see, ready for editing. And the next step is the traffic loading. So when I am done with a video, and you may see one that I've just published recently, and you see that the generate a social media post is the one that I'm recording right now. But in this case, for this example video, I'm going to move this over to traffic loading. And that means that I'm done recording and I have an automation set up that as soon as I hit this transcribe audio, it's going to run an automation from SmartSuite over into make.com. The only thing that I need to do, well, really, there's two things I need to do here. Like I said, I need to hit the transcribe audio. But before I do that, I need to open up the Google Drive here. And I have a folder that is automatically created, and I'll show that in a separate video. But all I have to do is click and drag the example video that I've recorded or just the audio. So as you can see in the lower right corner, I just uploaded the audio file. This is a very small compressed file. I'm not loading the video specifically here yet. This is for a specific process that I'm going to be using through Make. So you'll see over here that I have a webhook built that is, again, a mail hook is going to pull out that specific smart suite number 43 example video record. This is going to, again, collect this information that we can find the record so we can collect all the additional information that we need. I already have a Google Drive folder set up automatically, and I have a link that will allow me to search the Google Drive for my specific folder. I am looking for my YouTube video folder inside of my Google Drive. And all I am searching for in this particular video, it says the YouTube video record. This is the title that I have set up at the top of my Smart Suite record. So any video I have to make sure is set up with this exact hashtag 043 dash example video. Other videos I have, you'll see again the number 037 using duration fields. This is what I will match the audio file to be when I am uploading this to my Google Drive. But since this is set up, what will happen is it's going to take this information. I am then able to map inside of the Google Drive the file ID to manually download this video or this audio file so that I don't have to do that and it's going to then hold that information inside of Make to put it into chat GPT whisper automations. Now, one thing I will show you at the end is that you have to be very careful when doing a Google Drive download or a, a audio file download because this takes up a lot more data that can be consumed in your allotted data allowance per month with make. My system allows me to have up to five gigs of data downloaded, which is pretty good for just having a smaller audio file. But if you are trying to do this with a video, you're going to run out very quickly and possibly either the automation will stop working or you may be overcharged for additional data being moved through make. So be very careful when you are looking at this you want to make sure that you are using mil megabytes and not anything larger. So now that we have that clarification out of the way, let's zoom in a little bit on, you'll see these four chat GPT modules here inside of Make. 
I've listed the actual tasks down at the bottom here. So you'll see that the first one that we have is a connection to Whisper. Uh, that is ChatGPT or OpenAI's uh, transcription service. And you'll see that I have a prompt that is basically saying, hey, here's the information uh, that I need. My name's Eric Harkness. I here are the key terms that you may need to know for this video. And then you're able to set the response as a text. You can customize it for text or SRT. For me, I'm just doing text right now, and I'm going to leave it at that. If you specify a specific language, you can do that. But for me, I just leave it blank, and it comes out it, as English is where I need it. Um, once I have this set up, I can then have the transcript that is produced from ChatGPT or from Whisper and use that in additional prompts that I will then feed through ChatGPT. So here, I have a social media prompt that I'm creating where I have information saying I'm a YouTuber, explaining who I am, and I'm able to put the specific repeatable process that I want to use to create consistent branding for my social media posts. I can then also modify the tokens here. I will say I'm playing around with this a little bit more to figure out how much more I want to add to it, how much I, how much I don't need. So I will just leave that there for now. And this is going to produce the specific chat GPT social media text that I will map to my smart suite record. My next prompt is for a YouTube video title. And here I have this whole process set up. I have keywords that I have mapped into the initial video record. And then I have, again, the results from the audio transcript mapped in here to basically create the same thing for uh, my YouTube title. And then lastly, I have an additional prompt for the YouTube description, which again has the very similar keyword prompts that I'm using as well as text because I want to make sure that all of this information is being utilized to help my SEO and help finding my audience that like you that are watching this video. Once all of this is completed, I'm able to quickly just map into the specific fields that I need inside of Smart Suite. Uh, so I have to scroll down a little bit, but you'll see I have a field, a text field for the description, for the title, as well as the social media description and the transcript. So I can leave all this information as is, and then I click OK. Now, I can run this all, and I'm going to do that in just a moment. But one other thing that I do need to clarify here is that the chat GPT has, does have API integrations, but they do charge for this service. It is a very minuscule amount. It is something along the lines of like three-tenths of a cent. So I think for each video process that I do with this, it costs me about 10 cents to run. So that seems justifiable for me in my business, and hopefully it is for you. Just know that to get this set up, you do need to have a balance with ChatGPT and OpenAI, and you'll need to get that set up before you can get the tokens uh, as well as the API integration activated in make.com. So we have this all set up. And so I'm going to discard the save changes for now, but you will go through and map that out. And this is all turned on. And so what I'm going to do now is just show you the, when I open up this traffic loading, I'm going to hit transcribe audio. And again, I'm going to hit save. Now let's hop back into Make, where it's going to take a minute for it to gather, but you'll see that it's running. And what is honestly frightening to me is how fast ChatGPT and Whisper transcribes this information and then generates the information that I need for me. I'm just talking a little bit longer, and this is going to finish really quickly once this transcription is done. I've worked with other tools where it takes several minutes for this whole process to be completed, but I can just sit here and it's going to be done. Look at that. It took 
barely a, a, a two minutes to get that done. Like I, every time I watch this, I am still stunned by how short a time it takes. I'm going to hop back into the uh, traffic and the example video that I used actually is an older audio transcript file that I'm just putting in here to show you what it creates. So I have here a brand new title. I can scroll down. You'll see that this transcript was loaded. And then here's a YouTube description, a social media description, as well as the video title. This alone saves me so much time. So all I have to do is just look at this. It gives me the idea of what I want to say. And then I can just modify a few things here. I can remove the uh, emoji here and I can remove some of the hashtags that I may not need or may not want to use. But the amount of time that this all goes through is incredible. Now, very briefly, I want to go back to the Google document that I showed at the beginning of this video. And you can see that uh, I still have a couple of other things that I've automated as well here. Like I've automated the ability to create this Google file as well as a separate automation to schedule the social media posts. The reason I emphasize that is because figuring out how to automate the information with ChatGPT was the source to help me automate more in this process. So I have three separate automations that help me stay not only more organized, but reduce my own resistance to completing this task that is vital for my business. So now that I've completed this and set this up and I have this process that is functional and I've tested it and it works for me. Instead of having to do 18 manual tasks by myself, I now have nine tasks that are completely automated. And I could also offset this by having my assistant load this information themselves. So there's even fewer steps that I need to take myself and they have more capacity to do something else that I need them to do instead of focusing on all this manual nitty gritty work. So you can also see here, this is just a brief estimate. I've saved about 45 to 60 minutes of this process from not having to write anymore and also being able to automate everything uh, with the, the social media posting as well. So that is a very fast nutshell of how you can start automating with ChatGPT through Make. This is a very technical solution, so feel free to go back and watch this again. Also, like I said at the beginning, I know that I offered a free 30-minute consultation. This process is probably going to take a little bit longer, so if you're still here watching, thank you, first of all. Uh, but second... I'm going to offer just a free special 60 minute promo for us. So if you're sticking around and want this particular solution, I'm going to set up a QR code here uh, that should just pop up briefly, or you can head to the URL solve cycle solutions.com forward slash uh, 60 minutes or 60 dash minutes. I'll get that set up for you and you can go ahead and book that there. I hope that you take that offer uh, that won't be up forever, but there may be something else that I offer in the future as well. So if you're coming back to this video a year from now, I apologize, but we'll see what other special offers I have for you then. In the meantime, I hope you got a ton of value out of this and I hope you see some of the specific solutions that you can implement in your business and how you can make ChatGPT work even more efficiently for you. So feel free to let me know any questions or comments you have in the comment section so that if you're trying to implement this yourself, you can do that more efficiently. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel to help, help us grow and be sure to share this video if you found this useful and think someone else would benefit from that as well. That's all, everything I have to say for this particular video, but thank you so much for watching.